Hello Gemini, I'm going to try this again. I don't have much of a voice, but I'm going to um, give it a try anyway. Uh, this is your weekly intuitive reading for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Gemini. Please keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. We're going to start off your reading with the Soul's Journey Oracle card. And I actually am feeling better. I just sound like crap. <laughs> um, a lot of messages. As I'm doing this reading, Gemini, as I'm pushing through, this is the Cancer full moon, the day after Christmas. As I'm doing this reading, the same day, Chiron stations direct. This is a very emotional um, moon that is linked to family, relationships, um, highlighting a lot of things that may not have been fully processed from the past. A lot of reflection on the past is happening, especially with regard to family, how we relate to or do not relate to our blood family, our soul family. And Chiron, which re represents our wounds, we are experiencing or re-experiencing um, certain traumas, certain wounds, or we could possibly have a new way of um, reacting and experiencing these things. But it's the matter of witnessing our PTSD from our past wounds. So anyway. Gemini. Let's get into it. Again, I apologize for my voice. I caught my grandson's cold over the holidays and I was happy to take it from him. He's only two, so he's feeling better and now I have it. Um, it's run its course, but as usual, my voice is the last to come back. <clears throat> So, let's see what messages want to come through for you, Gemini. The first card out is empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Beautiful. Maybe in the past. Loneliness. Next card out. For many of you, <clears throat> maybe in the past, you had felt wounded or hurt by another. Could even be someone from your family. Doesn't have to be. And over time, you've come to the realization that there are two sides to a story, and then there's the truth. You're having the ability and the desire to see the other side of a situation. Loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. This situation has left you feeling as if you are alone in this journey of life. Meaning, this could be a separation from a parental figure, a separation from someone that had been with you for all of your life or most of your life. It doesn't have to be a family member. And even if you're not alone, this separateness makes you feel as if you're on a journey on your own which in essence you are we all are you're born we're all born alone we will all die alone however we're not alone through the journey nor are we alone through that death or 
birth. Bottom of the bottom of the deck is death. <clears throat> and we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So you may be holding on to some guilt for maybe the way that you had judged a situation or a person who is no longer with you or judged a situation or a person whom you had pushed away from you. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. The bottom below death is change. So yes, whatever had ended just opened up space, opened up room, opened up the opportunity for growth and for change something new to begin. Doing this reading during the Cancer full moon at the end of 2023 as Chiron is stationing direct is um, really a powerful way to end this year. As we come into the new year, as we come into January, we will have new energy. By the end of January, Pluto will have moved out of Capricorn. That's a big change in energy. But before we um, move into the new energy, we must process and move through what we have been working through, what we have been working through on our healing journey, whether you're aware that you're on a healing journey or not. Everyone is to some degree. Ace of Swords. There's new clarity, new ideas, a new way of seeing a situation by seeing the other side of the situation. Changes the narrative in the mind. completely changes the story and that leaves you basically in and out the new story or the beginning of a new story is elevating you yet there's still some leftover residual unprocessed pain that pulls you back down into feeling isolated or alone you're not alone but you do juggle between this energy, up and down, up and down. You may also find yourself juggling in life right now because of this. Juggling between work and family, juggling between right and wrong, juggling between any two polarities. Okay. This is beautiful. But don't be too hard on yourself, Gemini. The energy of guilt arises. This has you <clears throat> feeling as if you need to do something to change. You need to communicate something or do something to save the situation to rectify the situation. And the bottom of the deck with death is justice, karma, balancing the scales. Something is coming into balance and you are a part of that. It seems as though, Gemini, you may be the driving force to that. You may have had the incorrect story going on, narrative going on in your mind and you're coming to that realization now. <clears throat> I 
I hope you can hear me. Wheel of Fortune. This energy is shifting fast. This realization came on to you very fast. It's either linked to your mother or a mother wound. Cancer. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. Okay, Gemini. First of all, I see that you are kind of beating yourself up mentally about something. Don't. But it is important as the cycles change, as the moon becomes full, waxes and wanes, it is important to move with the cycles, to be open and fluid and allow life to show you what it is you need to see and understand, as well as when it is time to make a move, make a change, to pivot, when you feel that coming up into your sensory system to actually do that. The Empress, this is why I am saying this entire reading stems around either a separation from your mother, maybe a fight with your mother, or feeling guilty for something, or a mother wound. And the mother wound, I highly suggest to do some research on that because it goes pretty in depth, but the mother wound affects our internal system and all of our internal parts. How we feel, how we react, how, how we feel about ourselves. Do we trust ourselves? We have six of cups. So that is a reflection back into the past, which is very much in alignment with the current energy that I'm reading on. As you reflect back into the past and the truth, there may be some guilt that arises. Don't hold on to the guilt. But if there's a messenger, if there's something you need to do or say, this is a good time to do it. You will know when. You will feel it. It will not, you will not be able to hold yourself back. If you do, you may find yourself getting sick. You may find yourself feeling a lot. But the Nine of Swords is telling me you're way in your head. These are thoughts. These are opinions. These are judgments. These are fears of other people's opinions and judgments penetrating you, piercing you, harming you, but you're doing this to yourself. All right, Gemini, I'm going to get you one last message and some advice from the secret language of the animals to wrap this up. If you are liking this video so far, please click that like button below the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and feel free to comment. I do love to read all of your comments. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website. That is bethechange333.com and that information is also in the description box below the video. All right, Gemini. <clears throat> Final message for Gemini. The mother wound is also how you experienced your mother and what types of internal wounding 
you may have encountered as a child. We have earth, which speaks of the physical body, grounding, nurture, and cultivate. <clears throat> Step outside, take your shoes off, stand there, be. The element of earth embraces you with a message to find stillness within motion, to be grounded in order to reach far, to settle into yourself in order to find freedom. Earth brings the gift of realness and tangibility. The earth path, path is simple, direct, complete, whole. There is no need to strain, force, or hurry, but your consistent, committed presence is required. Don't get lost in the big picture or swallowed by the details. Just concentrate on being where you are right now. Show up, be present, follow through. Focus on the simple things that need to be done and you will feel a sense of great accomplishment. Now is a time for building, cultivating, anchoring yourself into steady committed action to provide a solid foundation for that which is ready to come through you a great new chapter or phase of your work in the world is ready to unfold and now is the time to ground it in earth it it's not so much about ascending into lofty planes but rather bringing the energy of infinite possibilities into physical form the earth element may call for physical worth work but you will find great fulfillment in taking committed action towards your ideas if you have come across roads or decision that must be made, connecting with the element of earth will help you know what is needed next. Take time to sit, stand, or walk barefoot in the grass, sand, or soil. Feel the pulse of the earth align with your own. And from this place, reflect on your path. Allow your body to tune into each option. Which direction are you being pulled? There is so much that can be solved by simply going outside and connecting with the element of earth. Work the soil of your life, plant the seeds you wish to grow and tend your garden with simple devotion and grounded action. In days to come, your harvest will be great and shared with many. Oh, and I do see that as things begin to shift and turn and change for the new year, Gemini. So, be still and know, ground, allow whatever is coming to come, whatever's unfolding to unfold, and know that don't hold on to guilt or these bothersome thoughts or beliefs that continue to penetrate you. Something has ended, but that has opened up a door for something brand new and beautiful to begin. I hope that you found this helpful, Gemini. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.